Are you somebody that's worried about your posture? Or maybe you're thinking, my posture is causing my back pain. If so, this video will be good for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Ian Putney from Wellington Family Chiropractic. And today I'm gonna to talk about posture and how much it matters. This is a heated debate online between doctors and different therapists. Some would say posture doesn't matter at all. Your posture doesn't directly correlate uh, to the pain you have. Others say it's the most important thing you can work on. Uh, I would fall maybe somewhere in the middle. I think posture is important. I think it's good to stand up straight and work on that and to have balance in your posture and not be too uh, far in one direction or the other. But also, I don't think we really can say for sure that you know poor posture causes pain or it's directly co correlated with people with more back pain. We don't know that for sure at this point. What we do know, though, is when it comes to sustained postures in terms of the daily postures we find ourselves in throughout the day at work and, and doing different movements, they do matter when it comes to your pain. So if you're somebody that has to sit at a desk all day um, and you're, you're stuck there and you don't get to get up very, very often, that would be a sustained posture that does correlate uh, sometimes with low back pain or neck and shoulder pain. We do see that with our patients. Or maybe you're somebody that has a job uh, either in a factory setting or maybe like a landscaper that has to bend over and pick something up off the ground hundreds of times a day. Uh, a lot of times we do see those correlate uh, with low back pain or different pains throughout the body. So these sustained postures that we find ourselves in throughout the day matter. The repetitive movements or postures we do throughout the day matter and can correlate with pain. And so what do we do if we do have a job that that causes us to do that throughout the day, the easiest thing I have my patients do is work on moving in the opposite direction. So if you're somebody that's stuck at a desk, you need to be get up and walking throughout the day. You need to, to work on low back extensions, chin retractions, all the things we've talked about that move the joint the opposite direction that it's stuck in all day. And by equaling out that range of motion, or that movement that we take the joint through, a lot of times the joints are much healthier and typically healthy joints are gonna hurt and be less stiff. So we need to balance out our movements uh, throughout the day. The other thing to take into consideration is if your posture is really, really poor and you're rounded, a lot of times we do lose mobility in those areas of the spine. And sometimes when we lose mobility, especially in the thoracic spine, if you think about a big curve or somebody that's bent forward, a lot of times those people are more stiff and do complain of more, more back pain in that area. But to say that it's directly correlated with your neck pain or pain in that area, we can't say that for sure. Like I said, I usually fall in the middle because um, I think it's something to work on to try to achieve better posture, but it's not the end all be all of everything. So if you're somebody that's worried about your posture, I would recommend you work on it. A lot of times people feel like they look better when they stand up straight. I would agree with that. Um, but if you're somebody, I think what, what's the most important posture is probably the one you find yourself in every day repetitively. If you're doing one thing over and over and over again, or you're in one static position for long periods of time, you need to be doing stretches and exercises in the opposite direction to balance that joint movement out. And a lot of times that will help you out throughout the day and just in life in general. So I hope this helps. If you have questions about exercises or stretches for posture, you can call us at 859-309-1996. We're always here to help uh, and we'll talk to you soon.